Solar punk is such a beautiful, desirable vision. But is it even obtainable? And if so, how can we take the matter into our own hands and make it a reality today and not in the next century? In today's video, we'll look into another aspect of creating a better future and tackle the unnatural and cold vibe that many cities give off. This is somewhat connected to sustainable development goal number 11. We'll show you how you can be a part of turning your city into a more uplifting, more artsy and more futuristic city. We'll present what to do and how to do it, so you don't have to create the plan yourself. You can just take this plan and execute it with friends, family or colleagues. Welcome, you're tuning into A Better Future, the channel where we present change and guide action. So what does Rome, the Great Wall of China, and this amazing sand sculpture have in common? Well, they weren't built in one day, but it took shape through continuous effort, little by little. The same goes for transforming your city. As a first step in transforming our cities, we'll combat the cold, the trashy, and the depressing look from matte metal, old posters, and vandalizing graffiti. Cities are a part of the second tier in the UN Sustainable Development Goals cake. Learn more about the goals and the tiers in our video, linked in the description. A common spot for posters and graffiti are electric boxes. Have you ever wondered why they aren't nicer? We bet you haven't. But here's a blueprint to transforming our cities into the solar punk future that we want by using the electric boxes as a means to get there. Here's Alex. Alex will be our hero today. But Alex will have to be cautious because this blueprint has three major obstacles and therefore three major challenges to overcome to reach success. Are you ready? All right, let's go. Alex starts with locating an electric box of choosing, then takes a photo of it and notes its address. Alex then goes online to find an appropriate local graffiti artist. But this is a tricky one how to find a local graffiti artist. Alex's first option is to go to bookastreetartist.com and find an appropriate artist. Alex's second option is to Google graffiti artist and inserting his city. It won't be long until a local graffiti artist shows up. The artist's Instagram following is a great next step for Alex to find more local artists. After finding a talented artist, Alex now reaches out to them with the electric box image and asks if they would like to collaborate with them, and if so, how much it would cost in material to paint the electric box. Two hours later. Alex is smart and also sends a favorite image from the artist's feed. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Duh, let's go. That's one victory. All right, that's a check. Graffiti artist and price of flyer. Oh yeah, and to get the artist even more excited, Alex recommends the artist to watch our video listing the top three environmental movies to get them inspired. The link is in the description. Fueled up after overcoming the first obstacle, Alex now sets out to find a phone or email to the company who provides electricity in the area where the electric box is placed. Now you might ask, why would they even want to help out or be a part of this? Well, let's see. First of all, it's good publicity. Second, it's better to have a nice looking electrical post than not. So why wouldn't they? Well, it could be because of a lack of power. The person that Alex reaches out to might not be in a position to say yes. It could be a lack of energy. Maybe they are stressed and worried that this will cost them extra work. Or it could be a lack of soul. Maybe they're cold hearted, soulless person that just can't be bothered. So if they decline, Alex would have to find someone else at the company to contact. But Alex now sends a mail. 2,000 years later. Hi Alex, what a great initiative. We happily support you. Go ahead and let us know of the results. 
victory. All right, that's a check. Permission to paint the electrical box is acquired. Alex has now cleared two out of three obstacles. There's only one more to go. And this could be the most challenging aspect of the entire mission. The challenge is, who is going to pay for painting the electrical box? A challenging challenge indeed, but Alex is smart, really smart. But before we get into what Alex does, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to get notified about more videos on positive change and creating a better future. Thank you. All right, let's get back to it. So Alex sets out to find an organization, company or committee in the city that is dedicated to either A, improving the shape of the city, B, supporting the local art scene or C, removing graffiti. But Alex also creates a backup plan if none of the above would want to back the effort, then Alex will reach out to the local businesses in the vicinity of the electrical box and ask if they would want to be a part of making the area more vibrant. So Alex sends out a couple of emails to various organizations, similar to the one to the electrical company, but here also including the amount of money required to pay for the artist's material. Hi Alex, we would be honored to sponsor such an uplifting cause. And check number three, funding acquired. There you have it, success. All of the three major challenges have been completed. It's now smooth sailing for Alex to just figure out the logistics of the project. To A, ask the electric company how to proceed, and B, ask the funding organization how to pay the artist, and C, ask the artist when they can complete the work. Alex, of course, clarifies all of this without any issues, meets up with the artist, enjoys the transformation, and documents it to share with everyone involved, plus friends and family. And us, of course. Now, you might think that one electric box doesn't make a difference, but imagine several boxes being painted in several countries by several people. Now we're really getting somewhere. And this is just the beginning. We hope you enjoyed this blueprint. If you did, why not go ahead and share it with a friend? Also, if you're curious and want to learn more about what can be done to create symbiosis, check out our video on one of the most important global environmental issues in 2022. That's all for us. Stay great.